Hey everybody, welcome back, and I'm still on day two. I've got to figure out what exactly I need to accomplish to end the day, and I think it has something to do with, um... Gabriel doesn't want anything to do with that knife. Yeah, clearly. Um, Goodbye, Dr. John. Bye, Dr. John. Tonight. I think it actually has something to do with that Malia Getty thing, but I'm not entirely sure in what order or how. I went to her house in the last video, didn't get anywhere with it. I don't need to go visit the family tomb today. I don't need to go visit... I'm trying to think of what else I can do here. A plaque on the tomb reads, Laveau. Um, that's cool. Gabriel's head is popping through the thing here. Norland's is famous for its above-ground tombs. The high water table prevents bodies from being interred underground. You know what kills me? Is usually I used to go to Food, Grandma Knight's house more early on, but I can't seem to do that now. Here and there in the cemetery, straggly plants grow in stone planters. Alright, let's go ahead and just kind of light everything up here. We got statues, plants... I can't seem to go that direction. It doesn't want me to go there. I can go this way. So, okay. Alright, fine. No way. Something might answer. Okay. Trying to get him to move. There we go. Here we go. Now how much you want to bet this has something to do with advancing that? So what are all my highlights here? More tombs. Uh, lots of tombs. There's a vase and more tombs and more tombs and more tombs. Two enormous vases flanked the front of the Getty tomb. An angel draped dramatically over a stone plinth marks the entrance to a large tomb. There's a switch here. So how does that work? It's locked shut. Of course it is. The plate is in locked position. There's a keyhole on the plate, but Gabriel can't operate that without a key. Hmm. And that's going to be locked because it requires the doors key. are heavy and shut tight. Okay, so there's definitely something about going on down there. Let's take a look at this. Stone Angel leans down to gaze at something unseen. Right. Hmm. The sign says the overlook's closed for repairs until June twenty-first. Okay, so. They've definitely segmented things out, so it's a little awkward. Okay. Let's see if I could somehow use his badge. Now I remember what I was planning on doing before. May I help you? Um, the badge says Narlin's Police Department. My name is Detective Mosley. I'm here on police business. Really? How interesting. But Perfect. Wait here. I'll inform Ms. Getty. Nice. That was the answer. Ms. Getty will see you. Right this way. Nice place. Ms. Getty will be down shortly. A little creepy that there's a lion rug on the ground. A little over the top, huh? Let me explore, damn it. Don't. What can I do for you, detective? How are you doing?
Well, first, what kinds of things are around here? The art up here. I'm very, uh... Beautiful women. They must be relatives. They are. I think that one was her portrait from the old version of the game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what else can I... Modern art? More or less. It's a Picasso. How about the books? Harvard classics. Homer, Virgil. Maybe Malia wouldn't be impressed by a signed copy of one of Gabriel's novels. <laughs> um, before I start talking to her, I just want to see if there's anything else in here. Lion rug, sculpture, bookcase, flowers. Okay. Let's go with the lion rug. Genuine lion skin. I can imagine doing things on that rug. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. <laughs> ah, hell with it. Let's just talk with her. So, um, yeah. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Miss Kitty? I assume that's what you're here for, Detective. All right. Um, flirt with her? No, let's do this. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? Why would you want to know about that, Detective? It's rather silly, isn't it? Oh, not There's exactly. nothing silly about the voodoo murders. But that voodoo is faked. That's what I've read in the papers. That's what the papers say, all right. But you're not convinced. No, frankly, I'm not. The police department isn't known for its uh, imagination. Oh? Well, I can see that your imagination is considerable. Quite. <laughs> Are you sure you can't tell me anything about voodoo? I really don't know much about it. Isn't uh -huh. there some place in town that you can find out about that sort of thing? A museum or something? I believe there is a museum. And then I've been maybe there. Maybe you should check there. Wow, everybody is just so... whatever. What do you know <laughs> about the voodoo murders? The murders? Only what I read in the papers. And what do you read in the papers? I'm sure you know much more about it than I, detective. I think she's starting to realize that you're not exactly a cop. <laughs> Tell me about your life in New Orleans. Hence the, uh, The Getty family detective. came to New Orleans in 1800. We worked very hard to get where we are. On the other hand, we've done a lot for this community. I can believe that. You're doing a lot for me right now. Oh, man. He's gonna get thrown out. Tell me more about New Orleans. I'm afraid I don't get out into New Orleans society much. Because of the Getty money, we have slots in the best country clubs and on the best Mardi Gras courts. But I must admit, I hate it. I avoid actually making an appearance unless it becomes absolutely necessary. I know about those courts. They're very exclusive. Yes, especially when it comes to people of my race. That's why we don't turn down the appointments. It's a rare opportunity to rub their noses in it. But that's not where I spend my time. I have more important things to do with my life. Like That's Buddha. admirable. Many women would love the chance <laughs> to get caught up in that kind of life. I'm not any kind of woman you might be familiar with. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> do you know anything about snakes? I'm no expert. I don't fear them like most people do. Well, why not? What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I believe it's some sort of local holiday, but I don't know much about it. Hmm. What do you know about Marie Laveau? I've heard of her, of course, but that's about it. Do you have any idea what Cabri saint Cal means? No, I don't. What does it mean, Detective? That's confidential information, ma'am. Do you know anything about animal masks? Animal masks? I don't know what you mean. Like, you know, take that lion head there and stick it on your face? Tell me about yourself. I suppose I don't really have a choice. What do you want to know, Detective? Everything. What kind of things interest you? I don't have a lot of free time, but I do appreciate the arts. Opera, symphony, ballet, fine art. If you look around, you'll see that we collect African art, for example. Yes, it's very beautiful. It is, Detective. It means a great deal to me. Do you have a career? A career? Being the head of the Getty family is a 24-hour-a-day job. We have many holdings and many responsibilities, financial and otherwise. The management of our business affairs and properties leaves me with time for little else. Poor little rich girl. 
Believe it or not, detective. Wealth does have its price. Fair enough. Tell me about your family. The Gettys? We're a very private family. How many people are there in your family? Well, my mother just passed away. Oh, I am sorry. So am I. She was a magnificent woman. We were very close. I was an only child. And your father? I never knew him. It's hard to believe that any man would leave a woman like you. Or like your mother must have been. He did not leave, detective. But that's really none of your concern. I'm sorry. Go on. There are, of course, other Geddes in the city. I have a large extended family. I see. I seem to have hit a nerve. Do you have a husband, boyfriend? I'm very independent, detective. The women in my family have always preferred it that way. So, you've never been married? No. And I never will be. What about children? Yes. That is likely. Someday. I'd like to hear just about anything. I have a business degree from Vanderbilt. I wanted to study psychology, but my family's interests came first. Oh, why not something like law then? Surely that would have been an asset to the family. Law? Please. I do have some morals, detective. I'd like to hear just about... For the record, I'm 28, detective. I'd like to hear just about... I have few friends. A woman in my position can't really afford them. I'd like to hear just... I try to stay away from the media as much as possible. Last year there was that story about John Jr. and I. Phone didn't stop ringing for weeks. I prefer to keep my private life private. I would appreciate it if you'd keep my name away from any public association with a police detective. Of course. All right, so that ran us out of all of those options. I wouldn't know where to begin. As you wish, detective. All right. Can you tell me Finally anything on to about what, we what need happened to be. out at the lake? I wish I could, but I've never seen or heard anything unusual at the lake, and I do spend quite a bit of time out there. All right. Excuse me, but your the eyes are us. really distracting. I don't think I've ever seen a color quite like that brownish gold. It's so deep and rich. Man, if I could bottle that, I'd make a fortune. Thank you, Detective. That's an interesting observation, though probably not relevant to your case. A good detective never knows what might be relevant, Miss Getty. Then you must be truly exceptional at your job. <laughs> and again. I can't help noticing that you're in incredible shape, Miss Getty. Your legs are so strong. Do you work out at one of the clubs <laughs> by the lake? Well, Detective, I do enjoy physical activity. Oh, me too. Actually, I was referring to swimming and modern dance. I can't say that I do much exercising at the lake, though. Ah, well, it was worth asking. I think this has gone on long enough. You're not really a detective, are you? Who, me? Well, I am on this case, Miss Giddy. I saw you at the lake yesterday. I thought you must be with the police since you were there, but you don't act like a police officer. Besides, I'm rather certain that the other man said his name was Mosley. All right, you caught me. I'm not with the police. My name is Gabriel Knight. I'm a writer working with Detective Mosley on a book. Well, Mr. Knight, now that we've established who you are, perhaps you can tell me the real reason you're here. Well, I am researching the book. And I thought you might have seen or heard something at the lake. I don't like liars, Mr. Knight. Okay, okay, you're right. I really just wanted to see you again. You can be mad at me if you want, but I swear I've never done anything like this before. Mr. Knight, you've lied about your identity and wasted my time with meaningless questions. If it weren't vaguely flattering, I'd really be angry. You're lucky I don't call the real police. I well, think you should go, Mr. Knight. Molly, wait. If you just give me a chance. I've wasted enough time. I'll have Robert show you out. D nine. Robert. Show Mr. Knight out, please. <laughs> I most certainly will. Oh, shut up, Robert. 
Thank you, you got very much. Punch. I had a lovely time. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, anything else around here to look at? Oh, the yeah. windows are made of thick, heavy glass. The only thing Gabriel can see um, inside is even thicker <laughs> drapery. I think I found another bug. <laughs> Apparently Gabriel's trying to break and enter. <laughs> Look at this. Trespassing. The shutters are attached to the house. <laughs> the right. windows are made of thick... Yeah, 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 we know this. Am I stuck here again? Nope, nope. Alright, there we go. He just climbed down off the window box. What the hell? <laughs> uh. Pocket roses mark the entrance to the house. Yeah, how about the lawn? The lawn the is lovely, right? The district is famous. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Okay. This is private property. Gabriel should st Alright, well, Gabriel's not going to get invited. You know what? Yes. Yes, he is. Let's try this. Before we go, let's try this. Miss Getty is busy, officer, and has instructed me to wish you good luck. That is all. If you just tell her goodbye, sir. Mm. All right. I'm not gonna waste any more time on that one. Um. Okay. Well, her mother just passed, which means the cemetery, the tomb there. She's been there recently. I wonder how that can sign under Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, we've been to the Voodoo Museum, we've been to the drugstore. Just real quick. No thanks. Okay. Gabriel can't take... The wall doesn't work that way. What do you mean the wall doesn't work that way? Go to the Getty tomb. Okay, well it's definitely not open. And I don't have a key quite yet. Grace may have found me some more information. Hey Grace, here I am. Oh boy, party time. <laughs> Damn right. Alright, uh, let's see if she did find me anything. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? What's up? Uh, no messages, no research, no nothing. Okay. Well. Can I just end the day? Because I don't know what else to do. I think I'm missing something. It's no vital. use. I can't sleep. I forgot what I was going to do. There was something else I was going to do. Oh, that's right. Go back to here. Alright. So, we have... Um, we have a handful of things here. We have code, we have this. But I'm thinking... Something about... The artist was talking about something before. So I'm kind of curious about is can I get Stupid him to wind. do something? Now I have to start all over. All right, talk to me, dude. Or can I just hand him this? Say, do you think there's anything you can do with these patterns? I'm a student. I don't take commissions. Oh, sorry. Um. What if I gave that you? That doesn't work that way. Trying to remember. What's up with this dude? Let's talk to this guy. Hmm. You dance pretty well for a kid. Give me some money then. I don't have any. Then don't block the view, mister. Do you do requests? Got any money? Nope. Something to eat? Uh, no. There you have it. No. Okay, he's hungry. Can you fit through the bars around the statue? Got any money? Nope. There you have it. No. Can't think of anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, All right. then. 
So he, he wants money. So what if I took and I gave him this? I have this gift certificate. I'm busy. It's good for $20 at St. George's Books. Finest bookstore in New Orleans. Really? I'll have to check it out sometime. You could take this gift certificate with you. If you'll give me a doobie dog. A doobie dog for a $20 gift certificate? Sure, here you go. Perfect. Okay, now... You wouldn't like a doobie dog by any chance. Would I? <laughs> As I pull it out of my coat. Now, go get that thingy by the statue for me. Thanks, mister. You got any special requests? Let me know. Oh, I got one. I got one, alright. Here's the deal, kid. Just do controls. You need to go get that piece of art for me. You mentioned something about special requests. Yeah, you got one? Hell yeah. Can you fit through the bars around the statue? Can I? Just watch me. Good. There's something in there I can't quite reach. See, then we'll use the art to get the Can guy to draw piece the things. Of paper? Sure thing. Such a happy kid. So nice. Here you go. Thanks, kid. Yup. See ya. Well, how about he folded it up? That's gonna make somebody angry. Alright guys, in the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, we'll be back on the next video and continue on our story. So thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time.